making that iconic Beetlejuice suit is pretty simple, actually. You only need about three things. First, you begin with a suit from a thrift store and some masking tape. Uh, Don't get the blue kind because that doesn't stick to fabric very well. Then you just start uh, masking some stripes onto your suit. It You really only need to make one straight line, and then you can let the tape be your guide. You don't actually have to measure. You can make a dotted line along that one straight line, and then carefully line the tape onto your dotted line. Press firmly so you don't get a lot of little bubbles in there. You want to avoid that as best you can. And then just keep going. It takes a little while, but it really isn't that challenging. Repeat the process for the pants and grab your suit and head to a well-ventilated area. Now we're going to use Jacquard's airbrush color. Make sure it's the opaque white, which will cover the suit very nicely. This white also comes in transparent, which is great for highlighting, but we want the opaque white so that it will cover the suit. Jacquard's airbrush color is durable, soft, and flexible. It works really, really well on fabric, but it will also work on a variety of other surfaces, including leather. Not everyone has an airbrush, but that doesn't mean you can't use Jacquard's awesome airbrush color. You can use Jacquard's You Can, which is a refillable spray can. It's pretty cool. After several coats of paint, go ahead and remove your tape, and we've got a pretty good looking jacket. There are some little shady areas, um, but we have a remedy for that. Versatex is a screen printing ink, so it's a little bit thicker than a normal textile paint so it won't slip around or slide into your white spots. And just go ahead and touch up here and there. A few bucks, a few materials, and a lot of patience, and you got a good-looking suit. I'm the ghost with the most, babe.